it sounds infinitely better than it used to. Uh, you cannot make a V6 sound like a big V8. It's just not possible. So you just have to put in a big V8. And it is ridiculously fun to drive. <laughs> Brought to you by Epic Adventure Outfitters. Today we're going to play with transfer cases. This here is a Rubicon transfer case we have acquired to put in this Mojave to connect to that massive powertrain. The reason they use the Rubicon transfer case is because it has a front housing that can be removed and they design their own front housing to mate right up to it so we can go to that. So we'll start by disassembling this and pulling it off, and then we're gonna go look at the piece we have to remove from the engine assembly. You gotta have the right tool for the job. This particular job requires a ginger with a beard no shorter than four inches. There's stuff in there. Nifty. You take the transfer case, crack it up against the bench, much like an egg, and then it literally just, and then here's the yolk, which we're gonna save and put it back in to our omelet. Makes sense? Our transfer case omelet, got it. <laughs> transfer case omelet. Oh, wait, was that supposed to go in there? I don't know. <laughs> Check the instructions. <laughs> there is no instructions. Little this, little yeah. yeah. Bam! Sprinkle a little salt on that. If you fight with something enough, it'll eventually go on. If it doesn't, get a hammer. Take number 342. We're gonna cut this off, and this, and this, and this, and because we just want to, this. Okay. Then we're gonna slot some holes back here because everyone loves slotted holes. What am I cutting? That stuff right there. Okay, so next I'm gonna do a little bit of trimming of the stuff in here because this is where the massive new exhaust system is going to route. So we gotta make sure everything has clearance and is protected from heat. All right, I'm gonna grab that tape. So now you can see how we've nicely prepared the end of the tank and the lines here uh, with extra heat protection, just in case. We did a little bit of trimming here around the, the skid plate side. We also notched out the holes for the transmission mount so that it can mount about half inch back farther than normal. 
the end. It's gonna mount with three bolts instead of two. So that's all set up. Uh, we're getting closer to being able to drop in the motor, which saves space on the floor. So as you can see, these are the really nice motor mounts, not coat hangers that they supplied. It's gonna go right up here. It lines up with the pieces that are in the frame. So you just have it sit right there, line it up to the hole, tack it, weld the shit out of it, and go to the next side. So it's been a few days now, weekend came, we've had some time to just piece it little parts of this job. I'll give you a little rundown of what we've done since the motor was dropped in on the weekend. We have now added the exhaust in temporarily with the exhaust blankets over the cat and protecting the gas tank. We've made some adjustments to the gas tank skid. We've added the new fuel lines and adjusted the evap line and we've wrapped them with heat tape just in case. Uh, didn't come with the kit, but why not? Uh, we've routed all the wiring harnesses, so they're all good to go. So this is all for the passenger firewall. We've got the ground. We've got the battery cables. Transferred over the quick disconnects for the coolant to go to the uh, heater core, so we don't have to fight with clamps. Uh, all the O2 sensors are in, but one that we don't want to damage when we drop the body on. We have then just basically waiting to drop the body on today. We've done lots of little bits, and uh, it's going to be fun. A lot of you have made mention about clearances and how does this fit in this. Surprisingly, everything fits very well with the kit. They've thought of a lot of things, from placement to the engine mounts to how they dressed everything. You have a good half inch between a lot of things. It's nothing like if you hit the engine hard enough, the engine mounts twist a bit, it's gonna hit. No, everything's got a good amount of clearance considering this engine does fit in JLs on a normal basis.
Wow, 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 wow. You hear that now? <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> well, it's been a while since we've been under the chassis. Uh, as you can see, we've buttoned up quite a lot of stuff. We have all the exhaust ran front to back, all the whole MagnaFlow system with the high flow cats, exhaust muffler, and resonator. All mandrel bent three to three and a quarter inch stainless. Beautiful piece of work. Plus, it fits without any effort above the factory skid plates. We've got all the linkage for the transmission and transfer case all installed back, so all is that in working order. Uh, e brakes are all back in, rock sliders are all back on. It's looking good. We just take this rat. Where are you going? <laughs> well, I was going to go put this in the Jeep and then go home for the day. What the? No, no, no. I haven't approved that. Done. Push the start button. So this is America's Most Wanted sent me a brand new PCM. Each PCM is specifically labeled and numbered. So despite we are doing the 505 conversion, that's not why it says 505. This is the 505th yep. PCM they've sent out. Cool. So unfortunately, this beautiful sticker never gets seen again. What am I looking at? It's an air filter. We're going to go over a few things. We've now got the rad fully hooked up, all the lines routed, AC lines, power steering lines, tranny lines, coolant lines, all the lines. We've done all the lines. He's done all the lines. Um, PCM is mounted where it needs to go. All the wiring has been modified and is now routed. We have kept everything we need to. It, uh, it's nice and solid, using all OEM looking stuff. Um, now we're just gonna double check our stuff and start pouring fluids into this vehicle. First, most vital, wash the fluid. Yeah, there we go. He's got it, he's got it. This is why I can never find a clean bathroom. That's right. <laughs> it's about a five foot pour. Do you feel like you pour? <laughs> oh, yellow? Not ah, close enough to yellow. Yellow and green. It's just Mountain Dew in a different model. Yeah, it's just Mountain Dew. There's gonna be so much caffeine in this fucking truck. Isn't that the liquid they use for highlighters? It's literally the same stuff. It's highlighter fluid. It's also <laughs> what makes you a better Call of Duty player. All right, here we go. It's like the bartender right here. Woo! The bartender is cracking the oil. I think oil. this is the oil it wanted. Let me double check. I hope so. Sure. Anybody put the drain plug in? Nope. Okay. Oops. I'm not a joy ride, a hit and run. I thought I loved you and you thought I was fun. I'm moving on down, down the road. Watch me as I go, watch me as I go. Should I look both ways before you cross me, babe? Cause I don't break the boys. I'm moving on. So we've pretty much accomplished everything we wanted to do today. Everything is in. All fluids are filled and bled. Um, PCM's in. We're just currently updating all the software and making sure everything's ready so we can push the start button and see if we've done everything correctly or what we need to fix. Vehicle's still in neutral, like the actual transfer case? Yeah, transfer Here's the fire extinguisher. Okay. okay. Mm -hmm. all right, fire in the hole! Covers don't lie.
So we're just putting several kilometers on this, or uh, if you don't understand that, we mean miles. Um, so we can get through a couple data streams, we can get the couple different tunes to see how it's running the best. But as you can see from looking in the engine compartment, this thing fits like it was meant to be here. Like it's got so much room, it's not even hard to work around it. And like, if you don't believe me, take a look at other companies that make kits online and compare it to this one you would never buy something else. thoughts of this whole thing uh the job went extremely well i am blown away at how nicely this system goes in and how clean and open it looks in comparison even to the three six we removed out of here we started it up instantly the first time no lights were on we just had to learn the throttle pedal and disable the hydromatic steering and we've been driving it ever since getting data logs to get our next tune Everything's just so seamless. Everything's just working as if we did nothing to it. No funny lights. All the gauges work. All the gauges in the off-road pages gives us our readings so we can see what our trans temp is doing, coolant and all that, just to monitor. It sounds infinitely better than it used to. Uh, you cannot make a V6 sound like a big V8. It's just not possible. So you just have to put in a big V8. And it is ridiculously fun to drive. <laughs> base package stay tuned to see what we're going to do next <laughs> looking for an epic jeep give us a call Please be kind and smash that like button. And hey, we have an online store. Check it out.